Don't shoot. I surrender. So you think you know better than FEMA what to do with this month's Ambrosia shipment? You're too late. It's on its way back to the people, and you can't do a damn thing about it. Tell me about the shipment, and I'll order the troops to pick you up as a prisoner instead of a corpse. Ask away. We already won this round. Where are you taking it? We're just giving ordinary people the same chance to survive as the bureaucrats in Washington. You'll have to unload New York because the choppers would spot you at sea. I think the government made the plague on purpose to get rid of the population growth. Well done. I will pass on your orders to the troopers. Report back to Big. Just answer the question. Don't believe me? It's all in the numbers. For a hundred years, there's been a conspiracy of plutocrats against ordinary people. You have a single fact to back that up? Number one. In 1945, corporations paid 50% of federal taxes. Now they pay about 5%. Number two. In 1900, 90% of Americans were self-employed. Now it's about 2%. So? It's called consolidation. Strengthen governments and corporations, weaken individuals. With taxes, this can be done imperceptibly over time. I guarantee you that the interrogation staff at UNACA will not be as forbearing as I am. Yeah, the secret police. You're just bullies for a completely illegitimate government in Washington. We will locate that shipment one way or another. The entire executive branch is hand-picked. Nineteen of the last 23 U.S. presidents have been members of the Trilateral Commission. The Trilateral Commission is financed by the Rockefellers and the Rothschilds. Don't tell me. That's a think tank. Anyone can become a member. But not everyone does. That's why they call it the secret government. You can't fight ideas with bullets. Did you ever ask what it's for? The surveillance? The police? The shoot on sight laws? Is that freedom? Your NATCO teaches teenagers to fight when it still seems like a game. And look at you. You're a killing machine. Who's the scary one, huh? Me or you? The more of us you kill, the more that secessionism lives in the hearts of the people. Ever wonder why big car companies pay 2% tax while the guys on the assembly line pay 40? Corporations are so big you don't even know who you're working for. That's terror. Terror built into the system. Your NATCO teaches teenagers to fight when it still seems